Okay, this is a short how-to on how to mix epoxy. Now, you might be thinking, how stupid is that? How difficult could it be to mix epoxy? Here's the problem that I've run into over the years, and I've never done anything about it until just recently, is it seems like I've always got more yellow left over than I do black, which means I'm using more black than yellow, so you're not getting a full... Uh, an accurate 50-50 mixture so I wondered what I could do to make it a little more accurate so I came up with uh, just using my uh, my gram scale it'll it'll measure down to a, a tenth of a gram which should be pretty accurate and so I started measuring out uh, one gram of black to one gram of yellow and I was still off on my mixture and it, I come to realize that the black chemical is actually about 15 to 20 percent heavier than the yellow chemical. So, yeah, volume-wise, that they may they may be the same, but uh, but weight-wise, they are not the same. And if you're going to use a, a little gram scale to measure it out, then you're going to need a different uh, formula. And the formula I came up with is, is super simple. Uh, let's. Uh, 20% less yellow to black. So if you're going to measure out a gram of uh, black, then you would put uh, z uh, 0.8 grams of yellow. And I'm going to go ahead and mix uh, some up right now. And because uh, I got this fin to put on, but I'll, I won't do that on this video. So it's pretty easy. So we got 1.6 uh, grams of cardboard. So we'll go, uh, we'll take this to 2.6. There's 2.6 of the black. Uh, 2.6, uh, 3.6. So 3.4, we'll take this to 3.4 with the yellow. There's 3.4. And that's it. If you use this, if you use this formula or something pretty close to it, your levels will go down together. And that's how I mix my epoxy. Don't forget to like my video if you uh, if you like it. Leave a comment if you've got uh, additional information about that. And uh, thanks for watching.